Clownfish Corporation presents Ghost Light Theatre, performing Henry V's St. Crispin's Day Speech, by William Shakespeare. And its 20th century translation, The Curly-Haired Dinner. What's he that wishes so? My cousin Westmoreland? Who said that they wished the British guys had made it tonight? Cousin West, was it you? If we are marked to die, we are now to do our country loss. And if to live, the fewer men, the greater share of honor. Don't say that. Suppose some of us were to die tonight. People would miss us. And the more of us that die, the more impressive it'll look for the guys that survive. God's will! I pray thee wish not one man more. We'll only die if God wants us to. But I hope and pray to God that none of you wish that the English guys were here. By Jove, I am not covetous for gold. Obviously I don't care about money. Nor care I who doth feed upon my cost. Or if I pay tonight's tab. It yearns me not if men my garments wear. Or if anyone ends up wearing my clothes. Such outward things dwell not in my desires. Really, those things don't bother me. But if it be a sin to covet honor, I am the most offending soul alive. But I do hope it's not wrong to want the glory of having survived tonight, because if it is, I am going to hell. No, Faith, my cuz, wish not a man from England. Cousin West, don't ask for any Englishman. God's peace, I would not lose so great an honor as one man more methinks would share from me for the best hope I have. Oh, do not wish one more. I don't want to share the glory with anyone else. Don't wish for them. Rather proclaim it, Westmoreland, through my host, that he which hath no stomach to this fight, let him depart. Instead, Westy, tell the waiter to send anyone who can't stomach this to the airport to depart for England. His passport shall be made, and crowns for convoy put into his purse. And I'll get him a passport so he can do it. Also, put a crown in his carry-on. We would not die in that man's company that fears his fellowship to die with us. I don't want to die with a guy like that who doesn't want to die with me. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. Let's remember that today is the day that we got together all of the curly-haired people and had dinner together. He that outlives this day and comes safe home will stand a tiptoe when this day is named and rouse him at the name of Crispian. Those of you who don't die on your way home tonight, if there are people sleeping, tiptoe to them and wake them up to tell them about the curly-haired dinner. He that shall live this day and see old age will yearly on the vigil feast his neighbors and say, Tomorrow is St. Crispian. And as we grow old, we'll have an annual curly-haired dinner, and we'll annually tell our neighbors, Tomorrow is the day that we have the angelic curly-haired dinner. Then will he strip his sleeves and show his scars and say, These wounds I had on Crispin's day. After that, we will make cut-off t-shirts to show off our scars and tell our neighbors that we got them at the curly-haired dinner. Old men forget, yet all shall be forgot. But he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Old guys might not remember what we tell them, and our memories of tonight will probably be a little foggy, but we'll remember that we had a dinner. Then shall our names, familiar in his mouth as household words, Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester, be in their flowing cups freshly remembered. And we'll remember our names when we're home. My name's Harry, and your riverbed and cathedral, war candle and doghound, Salisbury steak and Gloucestershire cat. Remember your names whenever you are drinking a lot. This story shall the good man teach his son, and Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world, but we in it shall be remembered. Tell your children about tonight, and the entire world will remember us for sure. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. There's not many of us here tonight, but we are happy and should start a band since we're basically brothers anyway. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother, 
Be he ne'er so vile, this day shall gentle his condition. Anyone who makes a blood oath with me can be in my brother band, even if I think you're gross or gentle. And gentlemen in England now abed shall think themselves accursed they were not here, and hold their manhoods cheap whilst any speaks that fought with us upon St. Crispin's Day. Those British guys are going to be cursing themselves for not coming when they hear about tonight.